So uh, I'm out of school and I'm going to get started with making my first uh, content video and it's actually uh, this webs about this website. It's uh, Pig Booger Studios primary project at this moment and it's uh, not related to any game that I want to make but it is a project and it is filling in the gaps of the things that need to be learned before I make a game so but let's get into it so I mean this is a, a website studio briefcase and I guess I'm not gonna really get into what it's all about because it's not really matter but I'm gonna talk about some of the features that I've worked on and so first it's uh, modeled after the uh, the Visual Studio template for for an ASP.NET Core project and that uses bootstrap so I kind of remade it with all my own custom styles I don't really like to I didn't want to use Bootstrap. I don't really like it, and it's not that. It's I think it's bad, or or, it's, or or there's things wrong about it. It's just I wanted to learn how to do my own styles, so as uh, so, so I do try to keep things on a, on a little bit the lower, as low level as possible. I don't want to have to depend on too many other things. You know, this is uh, the point of doing these things is to learn how to do it not just not to have a website so it's uh, I do have custom styles with naming conventions and I'll make a video about the, how I set up my naming conventions to make things a little clean and unwasteful in in the project but see so yeah so it's uh, these are basic razor pages you can go about and you can check out different things but there's also a login, and I used login through GitHub OAuth. It's I didn't want to create my own login system because it's so such a pain in the ass for a person to go and and, and keep track of a, of another username and another password, and you know, and it's it's just this meaningless thing that that's in a person's life, and it just, just makes everything worse and. And additionally, then I would have to keep track of data and handle password recovery. And I don't care about your data. You know, I mean, I don't want to do it. So uh, so I used GitHub OAuth. And the reason I used GitHub OAuth and not one of those other things like a like a, a Facebook OAuth or, or, or some other API is because, because this is uh, what website is intended to be about uh, programming, helping people learn how to program and and version control is one of the things that you'll have to learn so it just makes sense that I'll do it through github because that's the version control and that helps keep things keeps people connected and 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 things moving forward so it's uh so I think it's the right decision and there is a light mode dark mode I can show you how I did did that I'm, I do plan on expanding on it to where a person will actually be able to go and add their own custom colors you know to anything in the site anywhere in the site is uh, well not anywhere but you know it would follow some a pattern but you could uh, assign any background or foreground or letters any color you want is uh, I got a system set up to do that and, uh, eventually that'll have a video but but I'm gonna go ahead and log into GitHub OAuth, and right now it does reset to the main index page, and that's another thing I gotta work on. So there's, uh, there's lots of to dos in this project. There's no doubt about that. But when you do log in, you know it's gonna pop up this window, and then you have it has your GitHub information, you know, except for your privilege and class. That's the only thing. That I that I create, you know, it's uh, like I'm a moderator, so that, that's going to give me a little more control over things. And I'll I'll show you how that works later on. But you can go ahead and change your change your uh, your class, anyways. You know, if, uh, if a person wants to identify themselves as something different or just keep themselves as a as private, they don't really want people to know anything. That's the default setting, but you can go and 
got to log out and log back in because that's the only way it updates right now. So there it is. I'm now a, no longer professional. I'm just a private person. That's perfectly okay. But uh, but let's gonna go ahead and log out. But let's go ahead and look at a library. You can see right here. There's the quick links. You can see that there's no button. But let's go ahead and log in. Now when I go back, you can see I can update links and that's because everything in here in this panel, it's all data driven. It's loaded right from a database and I can go and change these links however I want. So it's uh, so that's actually from a video I did earlier, but I can go and add another link. Let's, uh, in fact, I'm going to go and pull. Let's do that image just to kind of show. But I'm going to go and add another link. So there's an image source. I don't know why it says no image source. Oh, because there's no image source. Okay. Uh, duh. So it's... Uh, uh, let's, let's not do something too obscene. Let's just go with something a little more mature than what I did before. But we can go update it. And now... It didn't do a thing that is because that was still null so I do have these null things that's how you make it not do anything so now that I have an asterisk there it should work you know and this is uh, like the moderator side so it's uh, there it is I have that other thing there's my poopy pants all up there so that's uh that would be how a da data driven uh panel might look and uh you know and i'm not an expert at this you know i didn't know how to do any of this before i did it for the first time on this website so anything i do might not be the way you want to do it although i will i am willing to go and make a tutorial on anything that i have done this, uh, this whole website isn't a public repository, so anyone can go and clone it and, and, and duplicate it. And what you won't get is the connection to my Azure, my Azure account. You won't, be, you won't have access to any of my secrets, and you won't get a, a duplication of my database. So everything you see in this data-driven section, you will not have access to. So you'd have to go and have some knowledge of how to do stuff. But, you know, if, uh, if, anyone's, if anyone watches this video and you want to know how I did something or, or, or think of anything I should add, how I can imp improve what I have, uh, uh, leave a comment below and I'm happy to go and go over anything that I do have in my website. You can... You know, this website is live, so you can visit it yourself and see how it all works and comes together. But uh, I'm definitely interested to see what, what people think about it.